Hello, I'm Asima Kamal Moni from Bangladesh, a member of the Youth Climate Voices program by the Carnegie Climate Governance Initiative. And as we're near the end of this program, I'm glad to look back on my journey for this past year. So back when I signed up for this program, I was in my last semester of my bachelor's degree. I was working uh, on my thesis and interning at ICDGRB, which is an international health research center in Dhaka, Bangladesh. So in July 2022, my supervisor at ICDGRB sent me a quick mail uh, with a link to apply for this program which say that if I'm eligible, I should apply to it. So at that time I was applying on every opportunity that came my way and I was fortunate that this worked out and I got selected. Uh, so if I want to recall the first application form that I had to fill uh, for this program, there was a question um, that was, if I'm aware of the technique stratospheric aerosol injection or any other techniques under solar radiation modification, and how would I describe my current knowledge of solar radiation modification and its governance? That was the very first time I read SAI or SRM. So my answer to that question was no, none. It was two words. So um, as we come to the end of this program, I realized how this answer of no is relevant not to just me, but to so many people in my country not only just the youth but so many people so the lack of awareness around the research on climate related issues including solar geoengineering or even climate finance carbon credits climate modeling it's very evident the scenario the lack of research in bangladesh so uh, for instance we uh, in bangladesh have only one master's program which focuses on climate change and it only focuses on the development related areas as the country can offer more opportunities in development sectors compared to pure science backgrounds. So I firmly believe that the scenario should change and climate vulnerable countries like Bangladesh should engage more on scientific research in the field of climate change and also in the research of climate altering technologies that at the moment is not the case and is predominantly being steered by Global North, by the countries in Global North. I consider myself fortunate to be a part of this program as it has introduced me to various aspects of solar radiation modification. Um, I have gained knowledge in three distinct sectors, the science, the governance, and the diverse perspectives of stakeholders involved. And um, what I felt that um, after the initial onboarding sessions, um, I felt that um, I was firstly made aware of the sensitivity of this topic and that made me feel that how misinformed judgments and how the fear of misunderstanding is acting as a barrier to constructive discussions about solar geoengineering um, and to share my perspective throughout the program while I discussed about SRM with stakeholders from various age groups uh, I noticed that older individuals tended to be more skeptical about discussing or SR, researching SRM, while the younger generation appeared to be more open about it. And however, I have also seen changing perspectives. So people who were initially against discussing these technologies have become more open and interested in research. So this makes me believe that more and more people will, re will realize the importance of being well informed for cli extreme climate scenarios. And the sooner we understand, the better we can establish effective governance. Um, sharing a little bit my journey in this program, it involved organizing events to initiate discussions and raise awareness of, about the lack of governance around SRM, specifically focusing on the involvement of youth, the lack of involvement of youth. Um, so it all started with our first side event um, that we organized at the UNEC Regional Forum on Sustainable Development in March 2023. Later, I had the opportunity to represent um, as a Bangladeshi youth on a panel during the eighth UNSTI uh, Forum side event. It was co-organized by C2G and ECLAC, which is the United Nations Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean. So together with my colleagues, we also wrote a science policy brief for the UN 8th STI Forum. And we also wrote a blog post um, on the website Climate and Development Knowledge Network, um, where we wrote about that why young people must have a say in solar radiation modification. As part of our group project, um, we developed 
animation video comic book and um, websites and uh, also policy briefs um, as toolkit youth learning toolkit and uh, I also organized a three-day program at my university campus in Taka. We showcased our work and introduced to over a hundred young people to solar radiation modification and its governance challenges. Uh, it was a successful event and I'm very glad that it happened. Um, with two other colleagues from the program, we had the idea to take the knowledge we gained to a broader audience. Um, our goal is to involve and raise awareness among young people worldwide about solar radiation modification and the urgent need to strengthen governance around it, to inform young people about the governance challenges that is there. And we came up with SRM Youth Watch. Following this, we had the opportunity to organize in-person events in New York during the um, 78th United Nations General Assembly and attend various UN Science Summit events. We launched our initiative globally during Climate Week New York at that time. And um, yeah, we also attended conferences organized by Resources for the Future. Looking forward, I see myself learning and educating myself more on this subject while working with SRM Youth Watch and bringing this knowledge back to my community, especially to young people who would be the most impacted by the dec decisions made today on solar radiation modification. And also I aim to work for strengthening proper governance by reducing the barriers as much as possible that hinders us from achieving inclusivity, accountability, and transparency in the governance mechanisms of these discussions. So um, yeah, that was a short recap. Thank you for watching.